Welcome to the Society of Women Engineers fourth and final awards video for 2023. And Alexis, you know, I have to say it has been an honor and a treat to have you as my co-host. As a young girl who started out getting more science fair awards than my bedroom wall had wall space for, it's really moving to see all of these women's accomplishments and the recognition that SWE provides. Well, I'm glad you're here with me, Wendy Lee. As I said before, your being here helps spread the job of announcing the awards. Plus, your experience and skill set make me a better presenter and makes watching these videos just that much more enjoyable. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and with that in mind, let's get to the awards. We'll start this segment of the awards with the PRISM Award. The PRISM Award honors individuals who identify as a woman, who have charted their own path throughout their career, and has provided leadership in the fields of engineering, engineering technology, or science related to engineering and professional organizations along the way. The nominee must demonstrate outstanding leadership in their organization, exhibit a clear understanding of how their career path contributed to their achievements, work to enrich the conversation of what it means to be successful in engineering, engineering technology, or science related to engineering, and demonstrate activities supporting SWE's mission. The nominee must have a minimum of 15 years of experience. The 2023 PRISM Award recipients are Seema Chopra, PhD, with The Boeing Company. Jamie Craikover, with The Boeing Company. Jenny Moose, with Booz Allen Hamilton. Amanda Muller, PhD, with Northrop Grumman Corporation. And Tuyet Han Chanel, with Lockheed Martin Rotary and Mission Systems. Congratulations to all our 2023 PRISM Award recipients. Now we turn to the Mission Awards. In our last video, we acknowledged the collegiate category. In this video, we will acknowledge the professional category. The SWE Mission Awards are aimed at highlighting areas of focus within the SWE strategic goals and the groups that have gone above and beyond to help make these goals a reality. Recipients of the Mission Awards demonstrate alignment with SWE's core values and continuous improvement and growth and are recognized at gold, silver, and bronze achievement levels. In addition, nominees can receive Mission Best Practice Awards for outstanding actions or activities in a specific goal area that best supports SWE core values and strategic goals. First, we recognize the Bronze Level Professional Mission Awards recipients. Next, we recognize the Silver Level Professional Mission Award recipients. And now, our Gold Level Professional Mission Award recipients. Next are the Mission Best Practice Awards, which are separated into four areas based on the Society's four major strategic goals. Advocacy and collaboration, diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, global community, and growth and excellence. We'll start with our first group, receiving their awards for achieving outstanding success in professional development under the strategic goal of advocacy and collaboration. For the second year in a row, we recognize SWE Pittsburgh Section for achieving outstanding success in SWE resource promotion under the strategic goal of advocacy and collaboration. We recognize Becton Dickinson, Win Plus STEM, and SWE Early Career Professionals Affinity Group. For achieving outstanding success in SWE leadership development and within group or SWE, under the strategic goal of advocacy and collaboration, we recognize SWE Early Career Professionals Affinity Group and John Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab Women in Technology. Our next mission awards are for achieving outstanding success in the category Global and Multicultural under the strategic goal of Global Community. We recognize 
SWE Houston Area Section. For achieving outstanding success in membership retention and engagement under the strategic goal of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, we recognize Boston Scientific SWE and Medtronic SWEnet. For achieving outstanding success in partnerships with collegiates, professionals, industry, and academia under the strategic goal of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, we recognize Boston Scientific SWE and my own section, SWE Baltimore Washington section. For achieving outstanding success in awards and recognition under the strategic goal of global community, we recognize 3M SWE Corporate Affinity Group. For achieving outstanding success in outreach under the strategic goal of global community, we recognize Becton Dickinson, Win Plus STEM, and SWE Asian Connections Affinity Group. For achieving outstanding success in public policy under the strategic goal of global community, we recognize SWE Chicago Regional Section. And for achieving outstanding success in the category of diversity and inclusion under the strategic goal of growth and excellence, we recognize SWE Latinos Affinity Group and SWE Rocky Mountain Section. For achieving outstanding success in the category of mentoring under the strategic goal of growth and excellence, we recognize SWE San Diego County Section. And finally, for achieving outstanding success in the category of communication under the strategic goal of growth and excellence, we recognize Society of Women Engineers at Merck and SWE Rocky Mountain Section. Congratulations to all of our professional category Mission Best Practice Award recipients. We have two more awards to present, but before we do, Alexis, I understand that you wanted to say a few thank yous. Yes, Wendy Lee. Recognition is an important part of SWE's culture, and there are a number of people who have collaborated in order to make this year's awards presentations possible. I'd like to thank SWE's Awards and Recognition Committee, the Volunteer Award judges, and all of those who submitted nominations. All of their combined work has come together to announce the individuals and groups Wendy Lee and I shared with you in these videos today. So from the award applicants, review committee, support staff, and even you taking the time to watch this presentation, I just want to say thank you. And one last time, I would like to ask you to please send a positive note to any of the award recipients that we announced for 2023. Please look them up on the virtual awards hall site and you can search by award title or by an individual's name. I know they'll appreciate any positive comments that you share. Now, while I am excited to share the last two award recipients with everyone, I think that that honor should go to the SWE president. So please take it away, Alexis. <laughs> These final two awards are both Apex Awards. So if you're viewing this awards hall after November 15th, look for a video of the Apex Awards presentation in the virtual awards hall. First, we have the Entrepreneur Award. The Entrepreneur Award honors an individual who identifies as a woman who went out on her own to start and or maintain her own engineering, engineering technology, or science related to engineering-based business, and in doing so, serves as a role model to all women who have ever risked financial security for the possibility of uncertain rewards. The entrepreneur has demonstrated a conviction to dreams and a willingness to make them happen. The nominee will be an entrepreneur who is skilled in technical, business planning, administrative, and financial techniques and excels in business leadership. The 2023 Society of Women Engineers Entrepreneur Award recipient is Melanie Lang with Form Alloy Technologies Incorporated. Congratulations, Melanie. I see you as a true example of living without limits. 
And our final award is the Achievement Award. The Achievement Award is the highest award given by the Society of Women Engineers. It is presented annually to an individual who identifies as a woman who has made significant and progressive technical contributions for at least 20 years in the fields of engineering or engineering technology. Their academic training may be either science or engineering. I am proud to announce the 2023 recipient of the Society of Women Engineers Achievement Awards is Thea Fireisen with Honeywell. Congratulations to you, Thea, and all the 2023 awards recipients. Thank you for joining Alexis and me in presenting SWE's 2023 award recipients. If you're watching this video before mid-October, please consider joining Alexis in Los Angeles, California for WE23. You'll find the time well spent from education to networking, camaraderie, and inspiration. If you can't attend the conference in person, SWE is offering a great virtual option. The conference keynotes, inspirational insight session, as well as the State of Women in Engineering session, and more than 60 additional sessions will all be live streamed. Please go to we23.swe.org for more information. Thank you. I also want to thank you for inviting me to be a part of SWE. Being with such a large group of intelligent, supportive, and successful women has been impressive and invigorating. I hope to be with all of you again next year. You have been a great help, Wendy Lee, and a great addition to these awards videos. Thank you. We've just taken the opportunity to recognize several women and men who, often by helping others, have gained recognition and likely met one of their personal goals. And I encourage you to do the same. We all have different dreams, goals, or ambitions. But by working together, we can help remove barriers and provide support to each other. And in the end, my hope is we can all advance to live without limits. Thank you.